All right, everyone, get ready, because today we're going deep on something pretty wild. Photonic time crystals. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard of crystals. You know, those like those really pretty structures like you find in rocks and gems and things like that. But imagine a crystal that doesn't just repeat in space, but in time. Whoa. Yeah, it's like something out of Doctor Who. Right. But a recent article in Nature Photonics suggests that we might be a lot closer than we think to actually making these things a reality. So Yeah, this is this is really interesting. Um, you know what's what's wild about this is it's not the atoms themselves that are arranged in this repeating pattern. Mm. It's the properties of the material that are actually oscillating like incredibly fast. Yeah. So we're talking Billions upon billions of times per second. Okay, so billions upon billions, that's that's hard to even picture. So it's like the material itself is flickering, but at speeds that we can't even comprehend. Exactly. Yeah, so the source, the source uses this analogy of light traveling through a space where it's constantly switching between air and water, but quadrillions of times a second. And that rapid change creates what are called momentum band gaps. Momentum band gaps. Okay, that sounds intense. What what actually happens in those gaps? This is this is where it gets really interesting because light light doesn't travel through the crystal in the usual way. It actually gets paused for just a moment mm -hmm. within these gaps. And and its intensity grows exponentially. It's like we're defying the laws of physics here. Like how how is that even possible? Well, it's not it's not exactly defying the laws of physics. It's more like we're we're finding these loopholes, these yeah. really subtle ways to manipulate light that we never thought possible before. So it's like creating a reservoir where we can just store light energy and then release it on demand. Exactly. What kind of impact could this have on say our ability to detect things? The source mentioned uh, nano sensing applications. Absolutely. So imagine a world where a simple device could detect the presence of something like uh, like a virus, like the flu, instantly. Oh. Or, or doctors could personalize cancer treatments based on real-time analysis of individual cells. This level of sensitivity could, could revolutionize medicine. It's like a whole new frontier of diagnostics. But the article also mentioned that creating these crystals for visible light has been a major hurdle. Why is that? Well, you see, Previous attempts to create these photonic time crystals mm -hmm. were limited to uh, to much lower frequencies like microwaves. But to make it work with visible light, we need to be able to manipulate the material's properties at insanely fast speeds. We're talking switching between two drastically different states. Yeah. Quadrillions of times per second. Yeah, that sounds that sounds incredibly challenging. It is, but but this new research proposes a way to achieve those rapid changes using an array of uh, tiny silicon spheres. And the the really exciting part is. We already had the technology to work with silicon at this scale. So we're not talking about some like far off sci-fi concept here. We're talking about using existing technology to manipulate light in ways that we we never thought possible. Exact. That's that's incredible. And, and what's remarkable is this research is, is really just scratching the surface. We focused on the amplification aspect, but the fact that light can be paused within these crystals opens up a whole other realm of possibilities. Okay, now I'm now I'm really intrigued. What else could we do if we can manipulate light in this way? Well, for starters, think about the implications for computing. I mean, we often think of computers as these complex machines, but at their core, they're really just manipulating information encoded in electrical signals. Right, like ones and zeros, zipping around on silicon chips. Exactly, but light travels much faster than electricity. And with photonic time crystals, we might be able to control those light signals in ways that that we never could before. So we could potentially build computers that run on light instead of electricity. That's the idea. Optical computing has been a dream for decades, but has faced major hurdles. Photonic time crystals could be the key to overcoming those hurdles. What kind of hurdles are we talking about? One of the biggest challenges has been miniaturization. You know, traditional optical components, they're, they're bulky and difficult to integrate onto a chip. But with photonic time crystals, we could potentially create optical transistors and other components at the nanoscale. So we could pack a lot more computing power into a much smaller space. Exactly. And that's not all. Optical computers could also be much more energy efficient than traditional computers. You know, silicon chips, they generate a lot of heat, which wastes energy and limits their performance. Light, on the other hand, doesn't generate nearly as much heat. So we could potentially have computers that are not only faster and smaller, but also use far less energy. That's that's a pretty compelling combination. It is, and the potential applications are vast. Everything from scientific simulations and artificial intelligence 
to drug discovery and financial modeling could benefit from this kind of leap in computing power. You know, when I first encountered this concept, I, I thought it was science fiction. It took me a while to wrap my head around it. What about you? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's definitely one of the most mind-boggling areas of research I've encountered. The implications are so profound. It's hard to even grasp the full potential. Well, speaking of potential, the source also mentioned lasers, which are already like ubiquitous in our lives. How could photonic time crystals revolutionize laser technology? Well, lasers rely on a phenomenon called stimulated emission, where light is amplified within a cavity. What? But traditional lasers have limitations in terms of their efficiency and the wavelengths of light they can produce. And photonic time crystals could overcome those limitations. Precisely. Remember those momentum band gaps we discussed? They can not only trap light, but also release it in a controlled manner. Imagine designing a photonic time crystal to release light at a specific frequency with incredible precision. So we could essentially create lasers that are tailored for very specific applications. Exactly. We could have lasers that are far more powerful, efficient, and compact than anything we have today. This could revolutionize fields like telecommunications, medicine, and manufacturing. I can see this being huge for telecommunications. Faster, more efficient lasers means transmitting more data over longer distances. But what about the medical applications? How could this impact healthcare? Imagine using these lasers for incredibly precise surgery. We're talking about being able to target individual cells without damaging surrounding tissue. Or think about the possibilities for imaging. We could have medical scanners that are orders of magnitude more sensitive and accurate. This is starting to sound like something out of Star Trek. What about the potential for miniaturization? Could we eventually see photonic time crystal lasers integrated into everyday devices? It's certainly a possibility. Imagine tiny, ultra-powerful lasers embedded in our smartphones, sensors, or even medical implants. Wow, the mind boggles at the possibilities. Speaking of mind boggling, there was one more area the source mentioned, communication technology. I'm curious, how could these crystals impact the way we communicate? Yeah, so we've, we've talked about how these lasers could revolutionize things like surgery and, and you know, computers that, that run on light instead of electricity. Right, right. But how could these crystals actually change the way we communicate? You know, think about how we share information today. Most of it relies on sending electrical signals or light pulses through cables or wirelessly. Right, like fiber optic cables for the internet or radio waves for our phones. Exactly. But photonic time crystals could allow us to do something truly remarkable. Yeah. We could encode information directly onto the light itself. Wait, so instead of just like turning light on and off to represent ones and zeros, we could actually embed more complex information into the, the, the properties of the light. Precisely. Imagine being able to manipulate the frequency, the polarization, even the temporal shape of a light pulse to carry a specific message. So it's not just about the speed of the light. It's about packing more information into each pulse that could revolutionize data transmission speeds. Absolutely. We could potentially transmit data at rates yeah. that are orders of magnitude faster than what's currently possible. This sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie. What, what kind of real world applications could this have? Oh, the possibilities are vast. Imagine, uh, Imagine streaming high-definition videos instantly, downloading entire libraries of information in seconds, or communicating with distant spacecraft in real time. It's, it's almost as if we're talking about teleporting data rather than just transmitting it, but all of this incredible potential stems from this idea of a crystal existing in time. It's, it's hard to believe that something so abstract could have such tangible and far-reaching effects on our world. It, it really highlights the power of fundamental research. Sometimes the most groundbreaking discoveries come from exploring the most seemingly bizarre and theoretical concepts. And speaking of bizarre, there was one more concept that I found particularly intriguing. Time reversed waves. Can, can you explain what those are and how they relate to photonic time crystals? Sure, yeah. It's a, it's a concept that can be a little hard to wrap your head around. Um, imagine throwing a stone into a pond. The ripples spread outwards from the point of impact, right? Yeah, that's that's basic physics. But with time-reversed waves, it's as if those ripples moved inwards, converging back towards the source, like like watching a video in reverse. So it's like rewinding the ripples in a pond back to the original splash. It it challenges our intuitive sense of cause and effect. It's it's almost as if time itself were flowing in reverse. Exactly, and there's growing evidence that these time-reverse waves mm. can actually be created in certain systems including uh, potentially photonic time crystals. Okay, now we're now we're really going down the rabbit hole. 
if we can actually create and control time reversed waves what what does that mean for our understanding of the universe that's a that's a question that have profound implications it challenges our most fundamental assumptions uh, uh, the nature of time and causality mm -hmm. it, it it even raises questions about the very fabric of reality it's it's like we're on the verge of unlocking some some deep secret of the cosmos. It really is. This this has been an incredible journey, and I have to admit, my mind is thoroughly blown. It's it's amazing to think that these photonic time crystals, something that seems so outlandish, could hold the key to so many groundbreaking discoveries and technological advancements. It truly is a testament to the ingenuity and curiosity mm. of the human mind. We've we've barely scratched the surface of what's possible. Mm -hmm with this technology. And it's exciting to think about what the future holds. So so what does all of this mean for you, the listener? Why, why should you care about photonic time crystals? Because this research has the potential to touch every aspect of our lives, from faster computers and more sensitive medical diagnostics to a deeper understanding of the universe and the nature of time itself. The, the implications are profound. We encourage you to delve deeper into this fascinating topic and see where your curiosity takes you. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to uncover the next groundbreaking discovery. The future is full of possibilities. Ah. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep your mind open to the wonders of the universe. That's it for our deep dive into the incredible world of photonic time crystals. Thanks for joining us on this mind-bending journey. We've talked about lasers that could like revolutionize surgery and computers that run on light instead of electricity. Right. But but how could these crystals impact the way we communicate? Well, think about think about how we share information today. Like most of it relies on sending electrical signals mm -hmm. or light pulses, uh, you know, through cables or wirelessly. Right. right. But photonic time crystals, uh, they could allow us to do something really remarkable. We could actually encode information directly onto the light itself. Whoa! Wait. So instead of just like turning light on and off, yeah, to like represent ones and zeros, we could actually embed more complex information into the properties of the light itself? Precisely. Imagine being able to manipulate the frequency or the mm. polarization or even uh, even the temporal shape of a light pulse to carry a specific message. So it's not just about the speed of light anymore. It's about packing more information into each pulse. Absolutely. That could like completely revolutionize data transmission speeds. It really could, yeah. We could, we could potentially transmit data at rates that are orders of magnitude faster than what's currently possible. I mean, this sounds like like something straight out of a, a science fiction movie. It does, doesn't it? What kind of real world applications could this have? Oh, the, the possibilities are, they're vast. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine streaming like high definition videos instantly. Wow. Or downloading like entire libraries of information in seconds. Yes. Yeah. Or even communicating with uh, with distant spacecraft in real time. It's It's almost as if we're talking about teleporting data rather than just transmitting it. It, it really is, yeah. yeah. But all this, all this incredible potential comes from this idea of a crystal existing in time. It's hard to believe that something so abstract could have such tangible effects on our world. It, it really highlights the power of fundamental research. Sometimes the most groundbreaking discoveries come from exploring the most uh, seemingly bizarre and theoretical concepts. Right. And and speaking of bizarre, there was one more concept that I found particularly intriguing, time-reversed waves. Can you explain yes. what those are and how they relate to photonic time crystals? Yeah, sure. It's a, it's a concept that can be a little hard to wrap your head around. Mm. Um, imagine, imagine throwing a stone into a pond. The ripples spread outwards from the point of impact. Right. But with time-reversed waves, it's as if those ripples moved inwards, mm. converging back towards the source, like watching a video in reverse. Oh, I see. So it's like rewinding the ripples in a pond back to the original splash. Exactly, yeah. Wow, that that challenges our intuitive sense of cause and effect. It does, doesn't it? It's almost as if time itself were flowing in reverse. And there's growing evidence that these time-reversed waves mm -hmm. can actually be created in, in certain systems, yeah. including uh, potentially photonic Time crystals. Okay, now now we're really going down the rabbit hole here. If we can actually create and control time-reversed waves, what does that mean for our understanding of the universe? That's a that's a great question, and it it really has some profound implications. It it challenges our most fundamental assumptions about the nature of time and causality. It even raises questions about the very fabric of reality. Yeah, it's 
It's like we're on the verge of unlocking some deep secret of the cosmos. It really is. This has been an incredible journey. And, and I have to admit, my mind is thoroughly blown. It's amazing to think that these photonic time crystals, something that, that seems so, so outlandish, could hold the key to so many groundbreaking discoveries and, and technological advancements. It, it really is a testament to the, the ingenuity and curiosity of the human mind. We've, we've only just begun to explore what's possible with this technology. And it's it's really exciting to think about what the future holds. So so what does all this mean for you, the listener? Why why should you care about photonic time crystals? Because this research has the potential to to touch every aspect of our lives, from from faster computers and and more sensitive medical diagnostics to to a deeper understanding of the universe and the nature of time itself. The the implications are profound. We encourage you to delve deeper into this fascinating topic and see where your curiosity takes you. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to uncover the next groundbreaking discovery. The, the future is full of possibilities. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep your mind open to the wonders of the universe. Well, that's it for our deep dive into the incredible world of photonic time crystals. Thanks for joining us on this mind-bending journey.